Caleb Williams just had the best game of his career. He threw for 411 yards and five touchdowns against U of A this past week. And I have the all 22 footage so we can do a little film breakdown on it. And while I pull that film up, make sure to like and subscribe to the USC LAFB YouTube channel for the best USC football content on YouTube. And now let's get into the film room. Check this out. First play I want to show you for Caleb Williams. This is going to be a simple curl route right here. And then this man is going to go deep. That is Kyle Ford, number 81, the outside receiver. Caleb Williams gets the ball. Check out his footwork. St stops and plants that foot. And then kind of hitches a little bit. Forces these guys to go and commit to the curl route so that he has a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the sideline right here. And then dots up his man. Beautiful right in his chest exactly where you want to see that ball only where his man can get it and this right here just shows caleb williams's intelligence especially with uh, another year in lincoln riley systems he's been with him he's changing the play right here because he sees something he likes and this is going to be zone coverage for this u of a defense this guy is talking to this guy and this guy is just pointing at that guy trying to figure out what the heck is going on what is caleb williams doing now check this out since it's zone, he's getting these guys to go downfield, take these defenders out of the play, and so he can have a wide open swing pass to Travis Dye and get him down the field. Easy first down, and that is all on Caleb Williams, just acknowledging what he sees on defense and trusting the playbook that Lincoln Riley has in place. So this is a deep route concept for Caleb Williams, but I want you to see how he keeps his feet active in the pocket because these are gonna be some long developing routes. Obviously, it's a play action pass, and Caleb Williams, big, I think that's like a seven step drop all the way back here at the 28 yard line, keeps his feet active and moving and he sees that this guy is in zone and his man is gonna be running right here. He makes his decision. So you can see that zone and zone defender right here. These two guys are not gonna be able to compete with the ball if it's right here, anywhere in this area really. Again, check out the ball placement right on the chest of his receiver but that's just a good play by the u of a defender to break it up and he knows it too he's gonna let everyone know man so this one's kind of a misread by caleb williams check this out it's gonna be a play action pass travis die is gonna be the man who fakes the handoff but then right here boom as soon as he gets that step uh, his last step in his drop he should be planting and throwing this ball to right here in the middle of the field that man is wide open easy soft spot in the zone but he doesn't do it. He doesn't pull the trigger on that play and then just kind of backs up. He's making a little too much space between the defenders and himself and then steps up, runs a little bit, tosses it downfield to Taj Washington, ends up getting a few yards on that play. This is just an amazing throw by Caleb Williams. This is going to be Taj Washington on a wheel route. He's going to go here right up the field, but check out Caleb Williams this entire time as this play develops, gets the ball, does a pretty steep drop right here and check out he's gonna have a false step after that first one right there boom and then he does a little jump you don't want to see that you don't want to see any wasted steps in the nfl that could cost you but he's got all this space steps up a bit to throw and then i know you can't see from here but that is right on the money to taj washington now check out this end zone view so you can see clap to start the play play action pass Check out the footwork again. You see his torso is a little too much facing towards the line of scrimmage. You want to have your body just kind of lateral facing the sidelines, but he is able to step back, has the time, and easily throws it down the field with all that dang arm talent he has right in the basket for Taj Washington. Mm! Now this play has much better footwork for Caleb Williams. This is an NFL play if I've ever seen one. He's going to get the ball, and then he's immediately gonna take one step back and then now he's already in his stance to throw setting it up and he's gonna have this man on the slant right here he's gonna catch it for a first down but the one thing that I would want to see and if this wasn't such a designed play to be executed for a slant on this right side you got Travis Dye wide open oh my god move at the top of the screen look at this he's wide open and then you have this man block you could have Travis Dye do a little mm, mm, mm make his way into the end zone. He's making at least one of these U of A defenders miss, but Caleb Williams executes the play exactly how he should, gets that ball right into the chest of his receiver. Now, now this is just one of those freak plays. I mean, look at this. Caleb Williams under center, 
fake the handoff and then fake it again. He still has the ball. Now he's scrambling and he sees this man is open in the middle of the field. Only person that can break up this pass is the dang ref if his big head gets in the way. Caleb Williams though throws off of his back foot in the air. A little jump pass right on the money to his receiver who gets the touchdown. Just a great play, athletic play for Caleb Williams. Check out this footwork because I don't see any wasted steps here. Do you? One, two, three. Plant throw and then he just gets that ball in there for a touchdown beautiful check this out this receiver right here is going to go deep down the field and this is going to be a curl route pretty deep curl route by this outside receiver caleb williams is going to get pressured on this play but watch how this man is wide open he should have the anticipation right here now you want to get that ball off get the placement on the sideline where only your receiver can get it and get that toe tap inbounds get the first down that's where the marker is but this edge defender is coming. He doesn't want to get hit. His feet are not really even set because he has that false step right here, that little left foot back, so he doesn't have his feet set, and he's not even looking at the right side of the field. But then right here, he can still throw this ball. It doesn't do it. Decides to start scrambling, and he really is just great at scrambling. You can see how many players he makes miss on this play. But if in, that, if in the beginning of the play right here, he decides to just get rid of it and take the hit. This could be a first down instead of, you know, just scrambling around and trying to make something happen. Now check this out from the end zone view because then you can really appreciate it. Number 14 all up in his grill and makes him miss. That is a quarterback. And then sets his feet as he's going backwards, throws it right on the money. I mean, that is in the hands of Taj Washington right here. That is in his hands. Now this one's interesting to me because he has a man wide open over the middle of the field right here. He's gonna be open in this space. Maybe he thinks he can't get it above this defender right here, but check out where he throws this ball and he's gonna throw this ball as he's getting hit. So now we know, as I showed you in that last play, he didn't wanna throw it because he didn't wanna get hit, but he's willing to do that. Gets rid of it as he is getting hit. But this ball is going into triple coverage when the only person around this receiver is the ref. I mean, if Caleb Williams throws this ball right here instead of to this man, that guy is getting at least, you know, 20, 30 yards, probably getting tackled right about here. Just a poor decision by Caleb Williams, but he does have good ball placement on that throw. Ends up getting a, a first down, I believe. And he is hit as he's thrown, but you want to see him have the vision to just throw it over here. I mean... Again, maybe he thinks he can't get it over that guy's head, but this guy is wide open in the middle of the field. We're starting to see a lot of his traits shine through again. He's just so elusive in the pocket. Check it out. That man is coming right for him. He's able to just run to his right side, scrambling, keeps the ball up where it should be so he can get a throw off if it need be. Throws it deep down the field to his man and gets him right in the chest, only where his receiver can get it. Feels the pressure coming and just rolls out to his right side. Keeps his eyes down the field. Keep it down the field. Throw the ball again. He throws it off that one foot little hop jump as he does. And right here, he doesn't want to throw it to the sideline because you got that cornerback right there. And you don't want to throw it too high because that safety is on the back end. So you throw it right into that inside elbow of this receiver. Perfectly thrown ball. And that is exactly what you want to see. Beautiful traits, athleticism on display, awareness on display, and the arm talent on display for Caleb Williams. And now his intelligence is on display. Check this out. This is going to be a fake handoff. Watch how long Caleb Williams rides with Travis Dye on this play, okay? that I, Hey, that's what you call it when the quarterback keeps his hands in that uh, running back's chest. He's going to ride with him longer than he really needs to, and then he's kind of lunging forward, acting as if, you know, Travis has the ball or whatever, but he's forcing these defenders to commit to the run. And then what does that open up? Your man right here has a step past the defender, and now it is a blown coverage. You dot him up, and you let him run down the sideline. Really, that should be a touchdown, but that's just a big play. And on this one, Caleb Williams just allows this play to develop. This is going to be a curl route. His man is going to be right here, and he wants the, uh, Travis Dye, the running back, to get out in the flat to pull one of these defenders away from him. Watch the patience. Caleb Williams is looking at this the whole way, and right here, he's getting ready to throw this ball. Right here, he decides to throw it. This man is not open, but he knows that linebacker has got to commit to Travis Dye. And if he doesn't, he's just throwing that ball in the flat. 
but he decides on the man in the curl route right here. Easy pitch and catch for a touchdown. Just a great decision, great patience, and great intelligence by Caleb Williams understanding the route concept and making the right decision. Bro, Caleb Williams, it's a love-hate relationship with me because this footwork is not good, but Caleb Williams is just so good, dude. Check this out. It's a fake handoff. And then look at the footwork and then his torso again is just like facing the line of scrimmage. He needs to improve on that, but he's just so good because he notices this defender. Check this out right here. This, just, this defender is not getting enough depth and he knows that his receiver is just going to run right past him. And so what he does, as soon as he turns his head right here, he notices it immediately, and he's going to try to get that ball off as he gets hit. Boom. Throws it as he gets hit, and that man is just sitting at the 25, gets the ball, and runs downfield. Oh, my goodness. Makes a man miss and gets into the end zone for a tutty. So that's the film from Caleb Williams against U of A. Obviously, just an athletic freak a freaking specimen of a human being, but he does have some things like that footwork that I showed you that he can improve upon. And if he does, bro, like you're talking like NFL quarterback, Justin Herbert, Josh Allen, Aaron Rodgers kind of guy, because he does actually remind me of Aaron Rodgers and just his like little mannerisms and the way he does things. And, and it's just a little flick. He can get it down the field with that arm talent. Let me know what you guys think of Caleb Williams. Should he be the number one quarterback selected next year? Let me know what you guys think. He's got a lot to improve upon, but there is a lot to like. Make sure to subscribe to the USC LAFB YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys next time.